Namaste Dostom, this is Anil Praveen and today in this video we will take a deeper look into the DevOps interview questions and the whole concept of DevOps. Myself being a 14 years of experienced DevOps professional in the software industry, I would be able to tell you what exactly are the areas that you need to focus on before you attend a DevOps interview. So let's begin. <music> When we talk about DevOps interviews, few things, few prime to high level points that you need to focus or you need to prepare are continuous integration, continuous deployment, continuous delivery, continuous testing, continuous monitoring and feedback. So these are the five key points that actually makes, makes up this whole DevOps process. Now I'll tell you one by one, continuous integration. When you say continuous integration, that deals with all the development part of the whole process development not developers the group of developers they develop code they use some IDE Visual Studio or any other IDE for that matter they'll have a software management configuration management tool like subversion or Perforce or, or git the latest is git is a distributed model uh, that's where they store their code once, the, once they're done with the development they check in their code that's a terminology that they use check in their code into a repository and uh, they'll be they'll be making as and when they make their code changes the bunch of developers will be checked into the repository and this whole concept of uh, continuous integration handles building the whole code not taking all those uh, checked in code together building it and storing this artifact built artifact in a nas location in a shared location for uh, for the deployment pipeline or deployment tool to pick up and deploy to the uh, 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 target server. Now after continuous integration, the second point that you will have to focus on will be the continuous deployments or continuous delivery. Right? This basically is uh, the area that covers uh, the deployment a part of it. So like I said, the code is built after the continuous integration, the code is built and available in a store location and the continuous deployment or continuous automation, build automation, release automation, the continuous deployment scripts should pick up that code from the built artifact location and should deploy to the respective environment. So when I say respective environment, it can be a dev environment or QA environment or, or any UAT environment or any intent environment. It can be any non-production environment in the beginning, which can be like, it's like a build once, deploy many. As the code goes through these main environments, there's a refinement that is happening uh, based on, you know, the testing feedback or UAT feedback. And finally, it makes it all the way to production. So it can be continuous deployment that's happening and rejections. If the QA is not satisfied, so that's a continuous deployment. It need not be a delivery, but if it goes all the way to production uh, uh, and you're able to deliver that to the end customer. So that basically works in tandem. So you have to understand uh, continuous integration, continuous deployments. Just for now, I will just refer to continuous deployments. Uh, continuous deployments which basically uh, uh, translate the pipeline software delivery pipeline across various environments so focus on these these two areas primarily because uh, as, a, as a DevOps engineer when you go for when you go and face interviews they'll be asking you questions uh, they'll be checking your uh, ability to be able to contribute uh, in terms of build automation in terms of deployment automation in terms of repository management uh, the, the configuration management uh, uh, part side of it in terms of uh, you know security certificates like you know servers with mean, how do you configure a security certificate how do you install a security certificate so there are various small small configurations specific to uh, the containers where you are deploying you you would have to focus uh, your uh, when you prepare focus on those areas like if it's a windows uh, .NET code obviously if it's a web application or or, or uh, website it gets deployed to IIS, most of the cases, like right? Internet Information Services. So you would need to focus, you need to brush up your knowledge on IIS and understand, you know, what all it takes to configure and make an application working under IIS. So if it's Java, you would probably use a JBoss or a WebLogic or a WebSphere. So, so focus on those areas and also uh, as far as the pipeline is concerned, in .NET, we have uh, the Microsoft uh, Release Manager, uh, the Release Management Tool, the Web-based Release Management Tool, TFS for Release Management and Release Management for TFS, and you know all those Microsoft products. And like you deploy, we have uh, 
um, uh, Jenkins, which is like cross-platform. We have uh, Puppet, Chef, that's on the Java side of it. So there are various tools available in the market which can help, which basically enterprises use for continuous deployment, continuous delivery or setting up the software delivery, pipe, delivery pipelines. So as an interview, uh, as an expert in DevOps, you would be, they'll be expecting you to be mastering, they'll be expecting you to be uh, uh, testing your knowledge in and out on, on the tools that, that are basically used. And of course, the concept has to be your concept about, you know, understanding about these, uh, these concepts have to be uh, clear, right? The fundamentals, fundamentals has to be clear. Now, moving on to the, the third part of it, the continuous testing part of it, you know, as you are probably aware, the QA team does the testing of the code and there is also, uh, as, as and when, you know, the moment it is continuous, the moment the code is developed continuously, checked in continuously, built and builds are created continuously, builds are deployed continuously based on the approval workflow, there will be somebody approving or signing off, that will be triggered in parallel to the code push, that can be automated. Uh, and, and, and once the code is deployed to QA, uh, QA environment, there has to be some QA uh, test automation suite that is integrated with the with the system with the whole workflow that kick that gets kicked in, right? So once they once they kick start there once they kick out their uh, QA automation suite, whatever sanity testing or regression testing that the conditions that are written in the suite that will perform that testing automatically. So it's all automated. There is no manual intervention because uh, the more uh, we are able to uh, avoid or get rid of manual intervention, the, the better the efficiency that the whole system has. So this whole QA uh, 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 suite runs and that is again continuous part of the continuous testing process. And finally, once the whole code, the code is deployed all the way to production, we have the, we have the other uh, production uh, monitoring tools like Splunk or, or, or App Insights, basically Microsoft has a great tool, App Insights, which basically will tell you like in production, some calls are failing. It'll tell you as to okay if it's a database call or if it's a, like a method call uh, inside the DLL or so we'll be able to analyze uh, with with uh, uh, less uh, less time uh, as to pinpoint the root cause of the issue. Uh, unlike the olden days where you know you had to get all the team online, database team, uh, all your team uh, on a bridge and try to analyze and you know takes like weeks or you know a couple of weeks time to finally understand the issue and then provide a fix. But that those those things are all eliminated with the latest tools and technology available in the market, industry standard, both on the .NET stack as well as uh, the Java stacks. Um, App Dynamics, uh, uh, a great tool uh, on the Java side, even for, for the .NET side. So all those things, uh, continuous monitoring and feedback uh, come data collection in the live production environment comes in the last stage of it. So as interview candidate, uh, to summarize, you need to focus on the continuous integration, continuous delivery and continuous deployments, continuous testing, continuous monitoring and feedback. So uh, uh, read about all the, you know, uh, make sure you understand the tools, the configuration part of it, uh, the fundamentals, the concept, how exactly you configure given a situation, given a chance. So be thorough with all those concepts, be thorough with all the tools, be also read uh, in some interview questions based on the tools, like you know if it's SVN, SVN interview questions, like if you're not very, if you don't have a very hands-on experience on SVN, uh, go on internet and just read uh, uh, the on the SVN concept. So that will make your uh, uh, understanding about this tool very clear. Um, and also, uh, it, it, this this applies to all the tools and at, at various stages of uh, DevOps. So this whole orchestration of all these key points that we discussed here is 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 basically uh, called the DevOps. DevOps is a practice that organizations follow these days to increase their efficiency of the the, the system, the whole delivery pipeline, unlike the olden days. So. Uh, that's that's more on the, that's on a, that's on a, on a very high level on the DevOps concept. I hope this uh, you guys, uh, uh, I mean the concept is clear at the moment as to where to focus on, and uh, it is just a tip of the iceberg. It's a lot more under DevOps, which you we the lot of resources on the internet. And if you have any questions specifically, please leave it down in the comment section below, and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Um, thank you so much uh, for your time and I will definitely be back with another 
uh, uh, video on the on the DevOps and on the technology side. Stay tuned for that. Until then, bye bye. And before you before you go, do not forget to subscribe to this channel for regular updates and you know give a big thumbs up and like and share. Thank you so much once again. This is Anil Anil Praveen signing off. Bye.